There are a number of different methods for installing the popular WordPress blog software. Two of the most popular are a manual install and installing with Fantastico in cPanel installations. This video will take you through doing a manual install and in a follow-up video will cover installing with Fantastico and of course we discuss both of these methods uh, in depth in our live training. One of the reasons that I uh, uh, prefer the manual installation over the Fantastico installation is that sometimes the, uh, the cPanel program does not have the latest version of software programs included in their Fantastic, uh, Fantastico uh, installation program. So the best way to get the very latest updated version of any software is to go right to the distributor and of course that would be the WordPress website wordpress.org. So uh, we've arrived at the website. We're going to click on the link download and we have two choices download zip and download uh, tar gz that's for Mac um, we are, I uh, am a Windows user, so I'll download the, uh, the zip file. So you're going to right click, click Save Target As, and then you're going to pick a location on your computer to save it. I like to save in one of my hard disks uh, rather than on the desktop, and I'll usually make a folder and I'll identify that folder with a date so that I know uh, which version and uh, what time that I downloaded this particular version. So I'll name this folder WP hyphen and and then today's date the 15th of February. Double click on it and then by clicking save it will begin to uh, download the files and folders that make up the WordPress software. Once downloaded, uh, we'll go to the folder and uh, unzip. Once I arrive at uh, my documents folder, I'll find the folder WP21508, uh, double click on it. Now we'll unzip the uh, folder by right clicking, click on unzip. and then double click the folder once more and now we find up or find all the files and folders that make up the uh, underlying structure of the great WordPress uh, software program our next task will be to upload uh, these files and folders to our domain. Now, as far as a domain goes, you can upload WordPress in what's called the root folder or the root directory of your domain. In other words, you can upload it to the domain so that when you type in yourdomain.com, WordPress will open. You can also put it in a directory such as yourdomain.com slash whatever the directory is, blog, uh, a laptop, a cat training, whatever that particular blog is, and you also have the choice of using subdomains. In other words, uh, http colon slash slash something dot your domain dot com. So uh, on one single domain, if you care to, you can put many many blogs. In fact, one technique is to use a generic domain and put up a number of blogs on it, just simple two or three page blogs, uh, drive traffic to those to find out if those niches will be profitable. If they're not, they're simple to take those uh, uh, blogs down. You don't have any uh, investment in a new domain. 
However, if one of those uh, niches does turn out to be a profitable and you're going to build a full-fledged blog to, to promote it, then you could go and buy a primary domain uh, for that particular blog. So our next step is, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to try to keep these videos short so they'll load quickly for you. And our next step now will be to uh, uh, FTP in and upload our files and folders.